welcome back. We have a, a posture segment coming up, so we're going to do this DIY with perfect posture. Yes, we're going to do that right now. Okay, so today is DIY Wednesday, and we all have shown off our DIY projects, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Jen had some wonderful stuff she had for her daughter, and uh, I really love what you did <laughs> with uh, the, the pictures for the room. So I love scrapbook paper. Actually, I kind of got into scrapbooking um, about five or six years ago with my sister. We started to get into it. And, you know, when you get into the world of scrapbooking, you start buying the paper and all of the little things that you, you know, use to make a, a wonderful scrapbook. Um, but I found that the paper that, is, uh, that you have left behind is great for so many things. Uh, let's see, not that long ago, I planned, my sister and I actually planned a baby shower for a good friend of ours, right? And she was the kind of woman that would enjoy this kind of thing. She enjoyed the project that we did. We took soup cans. Now, you're going to say, wait a minute, you used soup cans and you made something for a baby shower? Hear me out. So what we did was we took plain soup cans, okay? Uh, and they can be any kind of soup can for anything. Um, I had uh, evaporated milk cans is actually what I, was, what I had left over. You can also use soup cans. They're a little smaller, but cans come in all different sizes. So this one, uh, what you do is you take the label, you clean it out really nicely inside, you scrub it out. Mm -hmm. And um, when you take the lid off of it, you can actually file the inside so that um, it, you know, it's smooth. Oh, okay? so you don't get like that cut yeah, on your finger? Some, which right, because some you cans have maybe? a little ridge in there. That, yeah. And what you do is um, you Wait, take... Wait, how did you, you file it down? Yeah, you can. You can do that. Um, oh. Some of them, uh, some of the, the, the cans, like uh, soup cans, are actually better because the lids just come entirely off. Hmm. Um, anyway, what you do is you clean the inside out, and then you take the can and you put it on to... Um, some craft paper, which in this case is scrapbooking paper. You can also use uh, um, gift wrap or newspaper, whatever oh, you'd sure. like to cover the can with. Uh, some people do like punct they puncture, you know, um, and they do like a little voter for candles. Mm. But in this case, we just took uh, the paper and we wrapped it around using uh, just a glue stick. Very simple. And you see the seam in the back there, okay? Then what you do, in this case, we made little bouquets of flowers for the tables. So cute. And we did this with all different colors. So... There was this color, which I love, um, kind of like a, a green with uh, pink flowers. We had this one, which, as you see, turned into my makeup brush can. Which is brilliant. See that? I love that. Super easy, and it looks so nice. And when you have a bunch of these all sort of put together like that on a table, imagine that this is flowers. See how uh -huh. nice it looks? See, like that? And you fill it with water, and boom, you've got a little a vase. I love it. You recycled your recycled by recycling it into your makeup. See? Brush holder. You can use these for so many things. Kids' crayons. You can use these to hold pens and pencils, markers for the kids. Oh, my gosh. You can use these to hold off in my head. <laughs> Jen, I'm serious. Some people, what they do is um, they fill it with, like, rice, and then they put their, their if they want their, their uh, brushes to stand up straight, they, they use rice in the inside oh. to make it stand up. I didn't really care, so I just threw them in there like that. But you can use these for so many things. And, again, I've had these for now two years. And I still have them. The last thing is fun. This is my sister's DIY project. I just wanted to show you. Um, this is an old um, Quaker Oats can. Okay, mm -hmm. it's really not a can. It's just sort of, it's a canister, right? So <clears throat> Andrew has a chihuahua named Pinky. <laughs> and uh, she needed a treat container. So Andrea made this. She took the craft paper, <laughs> the, right the, the scrapbooking paper, and Andrea has those fancy scissors that make the deckled edge here. Okay, the That's deckled edge. Yeah, deckled. deckled. Yeah, scrapbooking yeah, terms, go. girl. Wow. And then you take the picture, you put it on there, and now it's a pinky treat can canister. She took a hot glue gun and hot glue gun, some ribbon at the top. Boom. She's had this for over three years now. It's adorable. Yeah, and then the treats are on the inside for pinky. What a good gift, too. See? Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, you know who would love this? And you were saying Kristen Scary. Yes. <laughs> Our guest who does the year of nothing new. But yeah, again, you can use uh, scrapbooking paper. You can use um, newsprint, wrapping Great paper, idea. ribbon. You could use ribbon. We've done ribbon before. So many ways to upcycle a used can. All right. We are uh, going to talk about the importance of posture. Yes. How to get it, how to maintain it. That's coming up after the break. During the break, I'm going to ask Norma, what did she use the evaporated milk for? Oh, it's my creamer for my coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you ever used evaporated milk for creamer for coffee? <laughs> it's the best. I was wondering. It's delicious. Mm. Yeah, that's what we do. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. We'll be back.